Turning to Washington, D.C. now, where President Biden is aiming to ease concerns about the nation's banking system following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. It is the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. The president's remarks come after federal regulators took control of the bank over the weekend and state officials in New York seized control of Signature Bank. ABC's Justin Finch has more on what's being done to limit the fallout. Following a frenzied few days after the failure of Silicon Valley Bank, President Biden trying to ease fears depositors might have about the health of the banking system. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. Your deposits will be there when you need them. All our money is in the bank. I don't know how we're going to do our payroll. The Federal Reserve, Treasury, and FDIC taking over the failed bank, now guaranteeing all Silicon Valley bank depositors will have full access to their FDIC-insured money today, up to $250,000 and that no losses associated with this resolution will be borne by the taxpayer. State regulators in New York also taking control of the now failed Signature Bank, which was funding many cryptocurrency and real estate companies. Officials saying those customers will also be made whole. The banks are open. Everything is fine, calm. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen asserting that regulators' actions do not amount to a bailout, but that funds would come from an FDIC account that U.S. banks pay into. At the end of last year, SVB held $175 billion in customer deposits. Some 96% were uninsured, above the $250,000 limit traditionally covered by the FDIC. SVB's failure sparked concerns about other regional banks. Many of their stocks tumbled Friday. Rattled investors began withdrawing funds from Silicon Valley Bank last week after SVB started trying to sell assets to boost up its balance sheet. The Silicon Valley banking collapse sending ripple effects overseas. British regulators announcing this morning that international bank HSBC will acquire SVB's British assets to protect customers. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.